My name is David Plummer. In 2009, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. In this short documentary, I intend to highlight the plight of Parkinson's sufferers in Kenya. It seems like paradise when you first get here. Looking at this gorgeous sunrise and on the beach. But having Parkinson's disease, this place could be hell sometimes. I've never been one for championing and raising awareness historically because my thoughts are everyone knows what Parkinson's disease is. I just want to find a bloody cure. But where I've worked abroad, I'm, f I'm fighting not only trying to find a cure, but trying to raise awareness. People don't even know what it is. I set off on my journey to meet sufferers and their families who had previously been identified by Dr. Natasha fothergill Mizbar, a specialist on Parkinson's research in Kenya. I decided to come off my medication when meeting these sufferers because most of them had no access to medication or health care. So when uh, he first got sick, we didn't even know what the problem was ourselves. I took him to a doctor. He's the first person who diagnosed that there was something called Parkinson. Even after being diagnosed and even taking the medication, mom still felt like, no, we can just pray and this thing can end. On my family, it really affected us. In fact, it really brought us down to almost zero because the drugs were very expensive and not easy to find. Sometimes I do get emotional, but I don't want him to see it. Like sometimes I can feel like I want to cry but I'm gonna just walk away. Because missing my dad, my dad has been my superhero. You stay with a patient like that for a long time. He becomes part of you in life. And when he leaves you, there's a lot of a great loneliness you'll suffer. If you would just rest. Sometimes you think that, like God, if you just can't help dad, if the medication just can't help, then just let him rest. I was introduced to a private healthcare doctor who only confirmed these stories. If you're not diagnosed correctly, you'll just be hoping around diagnosis. May taking this medication for the wrong diagnosis, so many people they will give up on the medication. Can they afford the medication? Can they afford to go and see the neurologist or the neurosurgeon? There is so many uh, misbelief or trust in medicinal or herbal treatment, and also some way into witchcraft. Anyone living with Parkinson's disease anywhere in the world knows what stigmatization is. Stigmatization is bad enough, but it can lead to persecution. Here, I mean, in the villages, they are not aware about the Parkinson's. They just still think it is something associated with evil spirits. Initially, I thought maybe it's some witchcraft, because since it does not have a cure. Some say it's a curse from their ancestor. He had a lot of pastor friends coming over. They would come, uh, pray. Now when they were praying and then he starts shaking, now they would see that those were the manifestation of, of demons. But if you agree, if let's say you have tremors, they'll cut on the arm. They'll do several cuts and then put some medicine or herbals in those cuts. Then they were like blaming him. What have you done? Where have you put yourself? Are you in some cult or something? 
So if you see an old man or an old woman living alone with nothing, maybe the way she is, she's unkempt. So the next thing, she will be branded a witch. They have gone to the extent of like just killing the people. There's a lot of old, old men that are being, because they are, they are suspected in the, uh, their uh, witchcraft. There are three old men. Just last, last, last month, they were killed because of that. They see anything happening that they don't understand how it, it is happening. They come to a conclusion that one is be, bewitched. It is devilish powers that is working or has been thrown to him. Ramze is struggling for his life and yet someone is coming here to, to shortcut his life. I found myself withdrawing and the shocking trauma of what I was hearing began to take its toll on me. After such a roller coaster of medication and emotion, I hit a wall. So I'm totally off meds now because, I don't know, I think we've been pushing hard pace to get this film. I just can't imagine how they live. They just rely on families or the goodwill of someone close to them with the threat of possibly people coming to kill them for being witches. I never imagine that fear. Lakini chakula ni ile tabu tabu. Na vile siendi kazi. Inanibidi maisha yangu iko hapo sasa rudi. Si. First and foremost people have got to get educated. It's just a matter of awareness, education, information, and it can be managed. There's a distinct lack of medication here, and I think there's a total absence of knowledge of what this disease is. It's not witchcraft, it's not cursed, it's just a disease, and these people have the basic right to be treated like normal human beings. Kenya, like any other country, is generally made up of good people. But evil happens when good people do nothing.